Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on a DIY Nigerian carry shell bowl. Here are some examples of the carry shell bowl and I thought they were really cute and you know, I couldn't resist an opportunity to put carry shells on things. Here is my sample piece. So in order for me to create this project, I decided to use a styrofoam bowl that I got from Michaels. For this project, I will also be using cowrie shells, a hot glue gun, twine, E6000 glue, and faux leather. Please see the description box below for more details. In the making of the basket, the first thing that I do is take the jute twine and wind it up in a small circle. And then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue the twine inside the center of the styrofoam bowl. And then I'm just going to wind the twine inside the interior of the bowl until I get almost um, like 90% up. So now that I have the jute twine um, glued to the interior of the styrofoam bowl, I'm going to be using some black gloss spray paint to spray paint the outside of the styrofoam. And now I'm using some of the faux leather that I got from Joann's Fabrics and cutting a strip of it and I'm going to be using the hot glue gun to glue the faux leather around the bowl. And now I'm cutting the leather around the perimeter of the bowl and um, gluing it down so that way it holds or sticks to the inside of the bowl, touching the jute twine. Now I'm using a little extra jute twine just to cover the uh, section where the leather meets so that way it looks more finished.
Now it's time for my favorite part, adding the cowrie shells to the bowl. Um, according to the bowl samples, there are different patterns that you can probably make with this. So I just decided to keep it really simple, like my inspiration piece, and um, glue the cowrie shells kind of like long ways around the perimeter.
And here you have it. Here is my DIY version of a Nigerian inspired cowrie shell bowl. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe and leave me a comment and I'll see you guys next week.